When you visit a custom TAT website, you will notice there is a lookup GST status for you to check on a business GST number, business registration number, and also the business name of a company to see whether they are GST registered. For example, if I key in here eStream, I'm able to find the company eStream software and to find the GST number and when are they GST registered. In SQL account version 7.2.9, when you go to maintain customer or maintain supplier, you will see the exactly same function as we have shown you in the TAP website. What you need to do is right click on this gray bar area and there will be a RMCD GST lookup. Click on it and you will see this list will automatically filter through your entire customer list and search for the GST number. First, it will look for whether there is an existing GST number. Second, it will look for whether there is a business registration number and in cases where both of them don't have it, they will try to look for the same company name. In this situation, for example, we have here is Leong Auto. There is no business registration number and also no GST number and a company name, but even the company name is a mismatch. So there is multiple Leong Auto and you can look for the entire list of 40 companies to see which is the correct Leong Auto. In this case, the correct Leong Auto would be, for example, Chan Kam Leong, CK Leong Auto. Therefore, you don't need to change the company name. All you need to do is select the right company and click OK because the whole point is just to add in the GST number. Now, if you wish to change the company name, that's up to you. In this case, there is Alpine Dash Tech and it cannot be found. The reason is very simple. It's because of the dash. Many people key in entirely different name uh, from the actual business name. This is the actual business name. This is, for example, what you key in. Hence, the system cannot find it. But if you correct that, that system will be able to find it again, even though it is not the full name as in over here, Malaysian Sagan Product. Alright, the rest of it, no problem. If there is a G business registration number, the system will use that to find the GST number. If there is already an existing GST number, the system will find it okay. And even if you use a person name rather than a company name, if the person name is a legal name, the system will still be able to find it and not just the company name. Either way, the system will be able to do so. And finally, in this case, we also have a situation where there is again a misspelling. Instead of T-E-C-H technologies, I spell it T-A. Therefore, the system can find the GST number, but it's saying there is a mismatch of the name. When you click on the update GST number, the system will automatically update. Do remember again that you need to be online, otherwise you will get error message here in GST status. Now, as you can see, the system already update all the list of relevant GST number. The same thing would apply exactly in supplier side. And if you have a new customer, for example, here, MySoft, you can also use the magnifier to individually look up each customer. So in this case, it's MySoft IT. I can even copy the customer full name, update the GST number, and of course, paste the customer name as well. Thank you for watching.